Uh, this right here I thought was interesting. Uh, these are edge defenders. So Josh Allen, he got franchise tagged, but um, this is the one that I thought was very interesting. Uh, Brian Burns. So this was the player that uh, – this is what had me a little – if he really on Bradley Chubb was that this was supposedly another player that was available, but the Carolina Panthers wanted some ungodly asking price. They ended up not even giving them a first round pick for Brian Burns it ended up being like a second and a third. And I'm going to confirm this real yeah, quick. But everyone's kind of making fun of him for like not getting a first. Well, yeah, but it's like, what the fuck? Well, my, my point being is like we, when we were going to trade with them, uh, I I think they wouldn't take anything less than like several firsts. I thought. Yeah, but I thought it was like they uh, wanted four firsts. Some cr- I heard some crazy yeah. shit. But, but um, that's about that uh, for who Brian Burns or Brian Burns for Brian Burns in order to get him. I had heard from you know one of the guys that like leak these conversations uh, that it was like a four first round pick asking price, which is basically like we're not going to trade them to you. It might not be four, but yeah, fuck? it was several we, we, first we, round picks. I didn't know we tried to trade for him. Uh yeah, I th- around the same time as uh, Bradley Chubb. Oh Chubb, yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah, but but that's a year later and a whole new GM. I know, but so yeah, what they ended up fucking taking yeah, for yeah, was that, yeah, it was a bad deal. Um, he's a stud. I want to find the specifics. <laughs> he, he's a stud. He's like good. Dude. Yeah, no, he's good, and he's young, twenty five. Um, uh, all right, twenty five. Shane. Oh, okay, right here. So the Giants are sending a second. And a fifth to the Panthers. <laughs> it's not even the second and the third. I gave him too much credit. Bro, bro. Holy they they shit. didn't even try to second go a couple a times fifth. on Madden, bro. Like, <laughs> like, like, like that was a one time accepted, bro. You got to fucking, bro. you got you to gotta offer something ridiculous. You got to the then, fucking phone. Like, I have yeah, the system. Yeah, like, bro. no, that shit didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the shit auto saves is quick. Bro, so bro, you got to, you got to, you know, you got to offer too much. You know, you yeah. got to ask for too much and then be like, all right. What's your temperature on that? Exactly. And then, and then just, you know. <laughs> you got to make it sound yeah. ridiculous, like what you did to yeah. the Dolphins. Yeah. That's the, see, the Dolphins. You, you don't just go, hey, you know what? Chris Greer, you motherfucker. So are you even trying to suck it in a third? The, the first time. Two they, seconds, the, you know what I mean? The first time they went talking to the Dolphins, they fucking tried your strategy, and Chris Greer just said, beep. Yeah. Never will fucking send you the fucking first. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Bro, like, I, like, I don't know, man. Like, God damn, what are you going to do with that fifth? <laughs> you gotta find an edge rusher <laughs> you gotta find an elite edge rusher um yeah no they're fucking wild um and uh let's see here so let's see all right so brian burns yeah that was one that was one of my issues there and then now we are dealing with but brad but bradley chubb i will give him credit where it's due this year he was fucking killing it. He really did he didn't really Turned right me on. around on my opinion last year. Yeah, bless you. And um, uh, but this year with his play, I did have to like. There's this undeniable. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, but Danielle Hunter. He probably doesn't like when people say it like that. Uh, Houston Texans, two <laughs> years for forty nine uh, million. Got, got paid. Bryce Huff <laughs> to the uh, Eagles for three years, fifty one million. Chase Young still available out there. Jonathan Grinner money. Yeah, and uh, Jadavian Clowney still out there. So, if like a Jadavian Clowney would take like a like a less than ten, because I don't know if he would. I don't know what his last contract was, but I don't, he's not a starter yeah. anymore. I don't well, think like, it's worth bringing into Miami. Just seeing. Yeah, the guys around his, uh, like this is around thirteen. No, um, I mean, yeah. Then there's Van Geekle. That's something to I think it's just from Dolphins fans. That's something to note. Um, Damn, Derek Barnett's out there. Yeah, Doris Armstrong. The hey, Calvin Noy had a good year in Baltimore. Yeah, I mean, he just talks shit about Miami. So I don't know if he'll come back, but <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, brother, we need you now. It's different. That yeah. Uh, Patrick Patrick Queen, as far as linebackers go, top rated linebacker. Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers, three years, forty one million. That's great. I say, yeah, it's money well spent. But uh, yeah, um, that's Frankie Lavu. That defense is fucking <laughs> stupid. No, yeah, that's Bro, not... l- l- listen, I I I think that they might hold like. Three, four games to under 10 points. Like, it's gonna that'll be, be interesting to see. It's gonna be dumb. I mean, Patrick Queen, you know, him and uh, um, Roquan Swift, um, they were a wild duo to watch this past year. Right. Like, that yeah. was, yeah, and strong, bro, brother, really good. And I yeah. think uh, Pittsburgh still has Keith Holcomb on the roster. Okay, he was hurt last year, so you yeah. got Keith Holcomb next to Patrick Queen. And then you got Cameron Hayward, and, the and you got TJ Watt, and you got High Smith, yeah. and, and you got Minka. 
And, you, and Joey Porter Jr. was really good last year. I wonder how much T.J. Watt being on the defense played into Patrick Queen wanting to sign there. I'm just curious, like, because Mike he Tomlin just, being the coach. Yeah, he gives you a lot to be able to do there. But Frankie Lavu, uh, Washington Commanders, uh, for a little bit over 10 million a year. L- Levante David resigns with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I do love to see the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking care of their uh, players. Like um, on one extent, if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. But it does speak. It's kind of sending a message to the league. You know what I mean? Like you come here, you perform. It's but, impo- that's important. But this is also that they have to recover financially from them. Excuse me. Uh, uh, moving everything down the road when, when they went all in for the Super Bowl. Yeah. So I mean, they're, they they just won a Super Bowl. So I I think they're oh, kind yeah. of more in the hey, we're gonna be competitive, but let's give our guys as we're trying to win a Super Bowl. Sure. We fucking have it. No, that's fair. Uh, and seventy what. And then we went ahead. We uh, we got Jordan Brooks. That's a great signing. Um, I love the signing, from Jordan Brooks. Yeah, uh, Bobby Wagner was still out there, but um, but yeah, love the signing with the uh, Jordan Brooks uh, under three under ten mil a year. Um, there's some interesting pl- other players out there. Jerome Baker. Hopefully, he gets out of hands out there. Yeah. Um, corners. Jalen Simmons is out there. <laughs> Corners Jalen Johnson back with the Bears for four years, 76 mil. Legeria Sneed, franchise tagged. And wants to be traded. One year, 19 mil. Oh, boy. Kendall Fuller. Uh, Kendall Fuller. Um, Do we have the money to pay a corner that much money? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they still have Stefan Gilmore's out there. Don't bring him. Um, Adoree Jackson. Steve uh, Nelson's good. That's pretty much. Yeah, Steve. Steven Nelson. So, oh, Steven Nelson. Steven Jackson. Oh, God. <laughs> no, that is, no, that is Steven Nelson. Yeah. Yep. Steven Nelson and Dory Jackson down here. We're, we're just toasted. Um, but no, so yeah, interesting cornerback, specifically with Legere Sneed. I mean, that's a really interesting, uh, unique situation, right? Go, smack go, go all of that because we got to see the Dolphins and Wilson. Uh, oh, Rock Yes in. There it is. Bring him in. <laughs> Bring the veteran in. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck ever. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, Big damn Xavier Tony yeah, O'Gun. Yeah, well, Winfield Jr. Uh, franchise tagged uh, back with the Bucks. Kyle Duggar franchise tagged. Cameron, which this is by the way, speaking to what uh, uh, Jay was talking about yep. as far as like devaluing the position. Uh, Cameron Curl not signed, and he was a, a commander. And what you, you Xavier McKinney? Xavier McKinney, roll side, baby. Yeah. But uh, he was a stud. He was studded with the Giants, but big contract there. Four years, sixty-eight, pretty nice. But uh, uh, what I loved is when uh, is when Antoine Winfield got uh got franchise tag. Mm-hmm. The Bucks on Twitter were said how we we have designated our franchise player as Antoine Winfield. I'm like, usually being franchise tag wasn't spun as a good thing, and, you know. Yeah. And now they're like, I was spending like, you know, you're our franchise players. We're gonna franchise tag you. It's hey, like, man, that's but okay. but maybe it's because yeah, they, they need Someone to survive the year. And then next year they can pay people. Yeah, they're just trying to sell them on it. It is interesting to see all the safeties that, yeah, at least according to this, rank above Jordan Poyer, but I guess it's because he didn't play much last year. He's old. Um, I like this side. I don't care what this is. Sean Elliott, our boy that was already on the squad. Um, so, yeah, either way. So that is all of the free agent signings from position. So now I want to get into the granular conversation and just kind of plainly as far as like, I guess first we'll start with what team do you think got the most uh, got better from this uh, most improved team from the free from free agency so far, uh, the and then I want to ask you the individual players. So keep that in mind. The the Giants have had a big a big free agency. Yeah, well, I mean, including trades. With yeah, the trades. Brian Burns situation. Yep. Uh, the Giants have gotten much better now. Is <laughs> you still got Daniel Jones? So we're gonna find out. Um, you can't get you can't get away from that right now. Yeah. Um, them losing uh uh Saquon is big. Uh, they brought in their running back though. No? Devin Singletary. Yeah, Devin, yeah. So I don't know. They, they, they may be going running back in the draft second. Brian round Burns was big though. I think that yeah. stands out. The, that stands their out. Their defense as a got game. a lot better. So. And, they, and they they signed Brian Burns when they traded for him. I'm pretty sure. So uh, they locked uh, him uh, in. So that's the, a, what, yeah. what about the Vikings? Because I feel like they, they've done some some decent things so far. Yeah, they lost Kirk Cousins. So that's a uh, one that stands out. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. There, there was a sign, Sam Darnold. I don't understand that. Yeah. So they're rocking. So I mean, oh, the Eagles. They they done well. 
Fuck the, the Jets. Yeah, the Eagles is ooh, where are. Um Oh no! What what team was was I fucking looking for? The uh, Vikings. Vikings yeah. Man. So the Vikings right there. So they're signed. All right. Van Gink, Blake Cashman, Garrett, Aaron Jones, Aaron Jones, Brandon Power. Yeah. Okay. I take it back. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Aaron, jo- right. Aaron yeah. Jones is interesting, but that's a move for yeah, Rose. Doesn't, you know? doesn't make much sense for six million, dude. You could have, you know, maybe played the, the playoffs. Done. <laughs> yeah, Patriots. Just it's it's a fucking mess. Bro, they are setting up. Uh, no, they're going to draft the quarterback. We get it. Jaden Daniels, welcome to New England. I mean, you mentioned it. So the uh, so the Eagles. I mean, that's an issue. So Julian Aquara. Um, you have uh, Kevin Beard. Fired. Yeah. Fired. They, they released uh, Avante him. Maddox. They lost. Those, Kels. Those, they're both Liz released. Kels. Yeah. Um, Landon Diggerson's good. Resigned Brandon Graham. Interesting. Uh, Bryce Sa- Huff. Saquon's huge. Zach Vaughn. Uh, Matt Hennessy and Dave the, Parker. Why should you guys do that? Parker there at the bottom. What, we happened? talked about how great he was. Oh, uh, we go to Pittsburgh. Uh, because outside of Patrick Queen, what have they done? So, right. So, at least a bunch of dudes. Uh, <laughs> they clean house. Yeah, they don't even have their moves here. So some of this, some of these lists might be. Uh, I thought they'd done more. Not full. So Leonard Floyd signed with the uh, 49ers That's interesting. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, they had to do everything for the cheap, cheap. But not even really. I mean, they're still paying guys two million a year. So um, next year when they they brought Purdy, fifty eight million, fifty eight million dollars. Definitely one of the most active teams Damn, is Jesus the Christ. Commanders. So Zach Ertz, they uh, resigned, right? He was there last yeah. year. Uh, Doris Armstrong, that was one of the bigger Frank, signs Frank for them. Luvu, all Zach yeah, Luvu, yep. Brandon McManus, nice. Jeremy Chin. Yeah, so that's why they let Cameron Curl Farrell. Go. Marcus Mariota, what a signing, huh? Tyler Orr, hey, I'll take it. Or, uh, 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 Jesus Cle- Christ, Cleveland. Florida. I, I always call him Orr in real life too, and I'm like, that's not. I always fuck, that's rough. Up, I fuck myself up. Um, I'm used to Michael Orr, and I just go Orr. So, but as far as like teams, so who do you Don't think? Who, who do you think uh, ended up making their team oh, the better? Yeah, Houston made a lot of moves. Holy shit! Yeah, some of the stuff. Um, you saying it's gotten better, dude? Dude, that that run Joe yeah. Mixon pickup is huge. Yeah, I mean, and they're a team that's in that position that we were talking about earlier, as far as like rookie quarterback. Yep, really trying to yeah, take yeah. advantage of that. What about Detroit? What have they done? Nothing too crazy. Um, which which they they really shouldn't shake shake no. it up. They, they have well, team. I mean, and if you could bring people that are going to come in and they're going to how contribute. about Brandon Jones getting paid fucking you know twenty mil? Yeah, I mean over three years, but yeah, no, he's balling. He did that. Um, Cowboys not doing shit. Uh, Browns. Did, Jerry okay, Judy okay. move. So, so did did Jordan you Hicks, hear about James what Winston? Did you hear about what Jerry Jones said? That about what? that they were going to go in like January. He said how they were going to go all in. Uh, but like next at the end of the year, and they're just going to let everything play out. And basically, what they're going to do is just have a Dak pre- uh, Dak Prescott play out this year. They're just going to swallow all the money. They're not going to invest in a bunch of big time players, and then at the end of this, at the end of the year, they're basically going to either Dak Prescott delivers, wins the playoff game, or they're just rebuilding, and then they're going to invest all their money. Hey, they're basically just like, uh, we're not going to continue the cycle. And it's like, hey, whatever. He kind of made it clear um, that he felt like they should have fucking won this year, this past year. They were very, I mean, rightfully so. They, they. Uh, lost their first playoff game that they played this year um and got their asses cooked by the Bad. Packers. So um he was visibly disappointed in that and vocally disappointed all that. Yeah, he was just disappointed all the way around and let motherfuckers know. So I think that's where he's at and it's interesting that's car- interesting that that's carrying over into the season I guess. By the way, the Falcons had a great free agency. Um Darnell Mooney, that's sick. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, love that. And then the Ravens, obviously, Derrick Henry. Before we move on past that, just those are two interesting ones that we didn't mention in this conversation. Yeah. Uh, so the Ravens Derrick have Henry, like lost nobody, and they just said, "All right, Derrick Henry." The Derrick Henry thing might that might be a Super Bowl, bro. Like, that dude. Super Bowl, that's what so I said. Like, put your money on them. It's worth yeah. the bet. <laughs> I, yeah, oh, it is definitely God. worth the bet. Good, um, good for you, Lamar. Yeah. No, and Derrick Henry, that's dope. Um, I, I he may end up getting one. Um, Which, hey, my. Both, Biasly, both Florida best all time athletes, so some of the greatest uh Florida high school football players of all time, um, and players that come out of Derrick Henry is the all time leading rusher for high school history. 
Where is he? He, he went to play it. Yuli. Yuli. Oh yeah, Yuli. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Um, but either way, so uh, so yeah. As far as teams, that, I mean, I guess for me, I would have to say if it came down to it, I'd have to say the Ravens because I think that their moves may ultimately be the biggest difference makers as far as like them winning a championship in the near future and might, might oh, directly yeah. result in that. Um, it is interesting. They may not bring Odell Beckham back, but I mean, I'm personally not mad at that, but it's interesting to see uh, that might be the case. Um, but to your point with, with Jerry Jones. Um, yeah. I think that with Jerry Jones, man, the clock, the, the clock is ticking. <laughs> it's on the writings on the wall. <laughs> Jerry, every year that really he's on borrowed time. I'll be honest. He looks like a fucking crypt keeper whenever we see him. So, um, and he's going to spend whatever it takes to keep us <laughs> to keep himself alive. And the thing is, that's already happening. Yep, he's yep. already been enjoying that. Uh, that's the borrowed time bro, part, man. Bro, he's a uh, one of the greatest flexes. Which again, I hate it, but I love it. Is I, is, I is it, him doing the it. draft that COVID year on his super yacht? <laughs> it looks like a okay. like like the yacht of a villain. Yeah, he's like, no, I want Dude, them to that thing know. is Darth Vader's yacht, bro. I want to remind them in another way. That this is who I am. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, just to have a yacht that's fucking lit. Um, <laughs> Dude, he's fucking wild. It is a crazy sign of wealth because, I mean, like, you could live on a yacht, I guess, but, I mean, does anybody? I'm bro, not sure somebody. The upkeep has to be crazy. Crazy. That's one of the things. Yeah, Dumb. Dumb. Um, Which do you think is more, a plane or a yacht? We don't have to look it up. We can just be our, 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 our ignorant selves. No, <laughs> the, the upkeep, experience. which do you think is more um, like probably like gas and everything for the plane and upkeep and, and, and probably the, the whole bunker. yacht. It's tough because like I think something that we might not personally think of as a yacht probably classifies as a yacht technically. So you pro- but the thing is, same thing applies you for a plane. staff. You got a staff. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, you can't have you can't have a yacht and not have fucking maids and and then, and then I, I guess it really matters Lost if if you have your own like like landing strip in your backyard so you can keep your plane there yeah, or yeah. or if you get to park your yacht in your backyard. I you think know? I think probably regardless the amenities of the yacht because I mean if if you're getting in a plane then you're pretty much, I mean not never mind I guess if you're in a private plane you're probably fucking snorting coke and <laughs> Yo, popping fucking pills at the same time fucking hookers uh um, i would say shrooms but ain't no way ain't i was no thinking I'd, I'd be true no oh, god that i would be not good oh no, fuck that nope. um yeah i couldn't imagine even, on the ground with those even on like <laughs> even edibles man I, yeah i couldn't imagine how on edge i already have it's been a long time since i flew like that so um but yeah dude when i did fly he's beyond fucking edge like seriously no, there'd be people that i be love on it their i phone. sleep i love it bro the people that be on their phone up until the time that you take off, I'd be looking at them like fucking turn your airplane mode. <laughs> airplane mode now. Like you're about to you know what up. you're gonna do to us. You're gonna fuck up the radars. <laughs> I'm serious, bro. I, I don't even know what it fun. does. I'll watch it. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's what it does. I, 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 yeah. I, I gonna get us. Sure. Gonna get us a head on collision. I just know in the to, sky. to follow the rules that. and then I go to sleep. Yeah. The thing is, you're now in a fucking tube with ninety other people. Or however many people are on a fucking plane. Act like you got some. You're not just putting your own fucking life at risk, yeah. asshole. Or your families. If you want to kill your your own family, fine, do it by all means. I don't. I honestly do not give a fuck. We do um, not promote. I'm not saying that you should do it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> but I'm not. saying like if you want to be reckless with their life, you know, by all means, that is your. I guess you know what I mean. That that's your prerogative. But yeah, not for me, bro. Not with me. And I got to take my life into consideration. Everybody else's family on that plane. You can put the fucking phone down. You could the whores can wait for fucking three hours while we do this flight. Um, let's see here. So what else do we have? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, so free agency though. I think um, so. Well, so, we were talking about Jerry Jones. So I yeah, mean, yeah. But, everything was on topic there because because we thought that he was going to sign Derrick Henry. Which do you think that's the do you think that's the biggest signing of free agency? What do you think? What do you think would be the biggest signing of free agency thus far? Uh, uh, Christian Wilkins in Las Vegas is a huge one, really. I mean, it's a lot of money, but it's it's really a huge signing as far as their scheme and what their defense is going to be able to do with him, Max Crosby. Yeah, but uh, it, but it doesn't make them a Super Bowl contender. That's the yeah. I uh, think their contender kind of wins almost like wins well, them Super. Bowl. Yeah, with the Ravens, and that's such like a uniquely deadly offense. Like, there's no other offenses like that. Really, that would uh, offer that same kind of threat at that level. You know what I mean? The rushing threat. That's just no, fucking crazy. Yeah, we've not, we literally haven't seen that. No, if if Kansas City were to trade like a first, or I guess what teams are accepting a second and a fifth for T Higgins, then like 
That would be interesting. You give Patrick Mahomes a guy like that, or yeah. if they sign Calvin Ridley, like we I don't all know expect. If the Bengals do that though. That's interesting. That is interesting thought. But why would they give their <laughs> their Patrick competition to their number one <laughs> right. competition? I don't know. No, but that'd be the thing is it's, there is something to be said about that. I've actually heard this, like as far as like from a, like a mindset standpoint, <laughs> people talk about this as far as like that is a the wrong mindset to have because if it makes you better period that should be the only criteria you shouldn't be thinking about you're making them better because if you are at the end of the day make yourself better the only issue with that contingency is that it, this really only works if like basically you're going to forego a better deal from the chiefs in order to just prevent that thing from happening well if let, the chiefs were offering you a first but then you go and take a second from the well 49ers. let me ask you i mean i mean competition wise yeah. and again you're trying to win so who the fuck should and would trade with the Chiefs right now? Like, no, you know what? You got to sign players or draft players. I ain't giving you shit. Like, why? Yeah. Why would I? Unless you just don't care because you're in such a rebuild. But it's like, it's like, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, I I wouldn't be happy if the Dolphins traded uh really any of our best players to the Chiefs. Like, don't don't help them get better. Again, I, like I get making us better, but yeah, I don't I don't know, man. That yeah. that would be dumb for the Bengals. But if they were to sign like Calvin Calvin Ridley. Or I something like that, that. Too, like like that would be like like might be the most impactful uh, pickup. Yeah, that would be huge. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would massive. say more than Derrick Henry, just because. Well, I really think that we can't. And maybe this is I'm being hyperbolic, and I'm just excited about the idea of this. But um, who's drafting I, him in fantasy? Well, I mean, the thing is, I don't even know how the fantasy value will break down as much as I think that just from a legitimate like game plan standpoint, that's such a difficult thing to have to manage for fucking 60 minutes. 